the clinical condition is we have a MO145 in this tooth the crown has been removed and we have to do root canal in the, into this the tooth is so tiny that it is not possible to isolate this tooth only now for this what we do is we will expose 46 45 and 44 now what we have done is we have drawn the line for the lower jaw mind you it's a small circle not a big one like this as i told you before and we mask for 46 45 and little extension here for 45 for the mo cavity and 44 now i'll do the punching yeah, now what we do is we first punch the 46 and then move it to 4 5 that is the premolar and then we do it for 4 4 now see the three holes now for the ammo cavity what we do is we make additional small holes touching the big hole and bring it forward like this and we see that whether we have punched this or not we have you now left this tag and we try to punch this also now if it doesn't get punched we can hold this and we can break it with the pair of scissors like this I am going to do it This looks something like this. Number 7 clamp, we take it below the rubber dam and slip it with firmly holding this in the center on the horizontal bar. Here we have done it. The two holes, other holes should be in the center of the horizontal bar. Then we invert it and take the rubber dam forceps put into the eyes and it's ready to be taken into the patient's mouth now we just do it like this uh, sorry then put it and we are very careful not to hurt the patient because he is not under anesthesia so we leave it like this and just stretch it with our hand and try to take it so if it's a hard one it won't slip it is this. then the method is you would like this and see this uh, hole take it out and see the flange and move it on it The next is to find, see the two holes where they are and find out for first the four, please open and slip it over it, into it. So it is more or less done. It's the rubber dam frame parallel to the upper lip so that it doesn't cover the nose stretch it bilaterally and hook it similarly here seeing that it is going below we will do it later this thing and stretch it on the lower bilaterally and hook it like this This is how we slip it below the contact point. Just do zigzag and slowly take it down. That's okay. Please open. 
Now you see that uh, this is slipping all the time, so because the powdery side is below and the uh, repeated use of the rubber dam, this has worn off, the hook has worn off. So what we do is, we just wet our finger. and uh, remove the powder. Now stretch it and it will hook. Now with this type of punch what we see is that the whole gingival wall in the MO cavity is visible and it the rubber dam hugs on the 4-4 four, four. and the whole of 4-5 is totally naked to, to operate. Now when we do the now I have done the root null in this case and before we give the temporary filling what we do is we stretch this portion and then cut it like this. Now the filling, after we have done the filling, filling won't come out when we will remove the rubber dam. We, we place these prongs, I am doing it from the back side, it is very difficult but anyway, then ex expand and take it out. Now you see the filling is intact, the filling has not come out from the interdental space because we have cut the rubber dam stretch. This is another appointment of the same patient using the rubber dam sheet cut out of the examination glove. Now you can appreciate that the whole of the gingival wall is clear and the rubber dam is covering the other area. Now, uh, I have asked the patient not a drop was going inside his mouth take the x-ray what we do is we remove this from one side and then fold it like this place the film and take the x-ray after the x-ray again we just unfold it and repeat the same procedure as of applying the rubber dam